Well, if God, being an all-wise God, knows what we need, why do we have to ask? Why do we have to pray? This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord of Life's devotional. The last couple of days we've talked about the promise of Philippians 4.19. Many of us have claimed that promise many times down across the years, reminded God that it's there in the book. My God shall supply all of your need. He didn't say he would supply all of our greed, but he did say he would supply all of our need. And I've found that as I have learned to trust him for the needs in my life, God has always been faithful. Not one word of his promise has failed. If you feel like God has disappointed you and let you down, you need to examine your faith. You need to examine your trust in God. For I do believe that as we trust the Lord, he will be faithful to us. Now we've talked about the needs that we have from time to time. Some are financial needs, some are physical needs, temporal needs of all kinds perhaps, but we do have a God that is great. And I said he's a wealthy God. That was the first day. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills, the wealth in every mine. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And whatever uh, resources are there, God has a way of meeting our need and I'm so glad that we don't have to worry about God not having the resources. A lot of times when I was a kid, uh, my dad said, I'm sorry, son, I just don't have the money for that. But uh, God always has plenty. Not only is he a wealthy God, just because he was a willing God. Sometimes we may be a little reluctant to uh, uh, spend money on our kids when they need something, but... Tell you, God takes pleasure in his people and God delights in meeting the needs of his children. And I think of how willing he is just to show himself strong in whatever way he needs to meet our need. I've never been disappointed in God in supplying our need. He's always been so willing as I have asked and trusted him. But today I want to consider he is a wise God. He knows what our need is. And that's what springs the question, why do we have to pray? Well, God loves for us to acknowledge our dependence upon him. God loves for us to acknowledge our own lack and, and uh, just tell him how much we've got to trust in him and, and believe in him. And as we trust in him and believe in him, well, we find that uh, he's going to answer our prayer. Now, there are times that uh, God even uh, answers before we ask. You know, the Bible says, before you call upon me, I will answer. Reminds me, we were living down in Alabama, and, and uh, there wasn't a big church, and there were a family of six there in the parsonage, and there were times that money got a little bit scarce between paydays, and... I remember I'd taken the vacuum sweeper to the shop one day to get it repaired. And uh, when the bill was presented, it just about wiped me out on my finances. And I was driving home and I said, Lord, I need some help this week. That's just uh, all I said, Lord, I'm going to need some help this week. Well, I pulled up on the campground of the church where we live there. And uh, there's a car sitting there under a shade tree. And... I went in and was greeted by some uh, uh, people from a neighboring church. I came to visit occasionally. We had cultivated a friendship with them. And we visited a little while and walked out to the car as they were preparing to leave. And he shook hands with me and I felt that he left something in my hand. I was so anxious for him to get on down the road so I could see what he had put in my hand. And when he left, I opened it up, and there's a $100 bill. Well, God had sent him over there even before I paid the bill for the vacuum sweeper. God is a wise God, and he knows what our need is. Well, we'll take off on a different subject tomorrow, but I've enjoyed sharing with you this week. My God shall supply all of your need according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Goodbye now, we'll see you again.